Is recording? Are you recording? Recording? <laughs> um, so this is a talking video, and as you can see from the title, this is about um, and I recently trimmed my hair. Um, it was just not good. Like my hair was tangling, and it was just it needed to be trimmed. So I did that. Um, I have a blog post about it. I think no, I'm going to have a blog post about it, and I will when I write it out for the link in the description box. In the description box. <laughs> yes, but I wanted to just tell you about. Oh, I wanted to talk about. Okay. I want to talk about. Hmm. I am not able to concentrate. I'll get back to you right now. Um. Um. La 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 la. I'm done being crazy. Uh. Okay. Tip or sign number one that you need to trim your hair. Uh, a lot of single strand knots. Now, single strand knots are not necessarily a problem in terms of, you know, they're not going to damage your hair, they're not really a nuisance um, when it's just here and there, single strand knots, you know, on this strand, on that strand, you know, when I get single strand knots, I kind of just ignore them, I'm like, hey, hey, and I move on with my day. But when my whole head is full of single strand knots and detangling becomes an issue, then I know it's time to trim my hair. Um, and then I try and get off as many single strand knots as possible. Sign number two is split ends, of course, obviously. Um, and I think that's kind of, you just kind of know. Also, when it's been forever since you've trimmed your hair, like two years, I think you should trim your hair not necessarily because it's old or single strand knot split ends but also the older your hair becomes you know your hair strand goes like this and then it goes like this and then it goes like this and if you make a ponytail you'll see the hair that goes down at the end is gonna be like one really long scraggly like hair strand on its own because the hair weathers you know as it gets older it becomes thinner in diameter and it just doesn't look that nice number four is that the ends just become really dry so even if they don't necessarily look split even if they aren't filled with single strand knots like they just look really frayed like when you straighten your hair you'll see if you straighten your hair you'll see that the ends don't really lay flat they always just like going in their own direction that's just because they're so dry um, and no amount of moisture is really gonna um, fix that because they're most likely to be porous now because of um, the layer the cuticle has you know, lost some layers um, it's just it doesn't look good also to give yourself you know a nice shape I guess just to you know your hair grows at different rates like I find the middle and the back grows faster than the front I think yeah that's pretty much what I've noticed and to kind of combat that and just to keep my shape on I like this shape ooh 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 I like this shape I trim my hair um, and I kind of just say mm, I think I should take off that much <laughs> ooh I think I should take off that much <laughs> um, and that kind of helps to keep my shape you know like I always think oh my front hair is shorter so I should take less my back hair is longer so I should take more and somehow it all kind of just balances out um but anyways this was a very quick and random like all over the place video but trimming your hair is very important I try like I mean I've only been on a hair journey for like a year so I can't really say what I like to do but so far I've noticed like I wanted to make trimming every six months but because I was really like slack with my hair for the past couple of months I, my hair was dry a lot and I wasn't moisturizing often and all of that kind of just you know worked against me